Hi there, we're in Illustrator CS5 and we're going to take a look at a new improvement in this program regarding arrowheads. Uh, here I have a map uh, that I just took a little screenshot of of my hometown in Michigan and I want to point an arrow at this. I'm going to go over and get my pen tool and I'm just going to kind of point right here where I want the tip of the arrow to be. I'll draw out a little path here and that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to switch over to my um, selection tool. And I have a nice one point black line here. Now I want to go ahead and I want to add an arrowhead to this. Before, in earlier versions, we'd go up to the effect menu, come down to stylize, and add arrowheads. But now they've given arrowheads their proper due by putting them in the stroke panel. And now within the stroke panel we can go ahead and click on the pop out menu and go to show options and now we'll see the arrowheads are here in their rightful place. Uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add an arrowhead to this path. I'm going to go ahead here's a drop down and this is the start of the path point so I could go down here and we can see the variety of arrowheads here and if this is the start point let me go ahead and pick one of these arrows go ahead and click on it and um, the other option here is for the tail or the end of the path I drew out. Uh, let's scroll down here to see if we can't find an appropriate uh, tail here. How about uh, this open circle? So now we have a path with this. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to bump up the stroke of the path here a little bit. I'm going to go up a couple points. Uh, maybe how about three or four points here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to scale down my tail and my head here. My tail is a circular tail, so I'm going to come over here. There's a percentage now, and I can scale this down a little bit. Bring it down so it's a little more appropriate. My arrowhead looks pretty good because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to my tool panel, and I'm going to click on my width tool. This is a new feature in CS5 Illustrator where I can change the width of my paths. I'm just going to click and drag out here and let's say we put about a 10 or 11 point path on that. That looks pretty good. Looks a little bit chunky in here so I think I'll click here and instead of um, making the path wider let me bring her down to about oh how about five points or so four or five points. Let's take a look at it. That looks pretty good and I'm going to come over here to the end of my path and I'm actually going to bring this down to about, oh, how about zero. Let me click off of this. Let me get my selection tool. Click off of this and take a look at it. Eh, it looks okay. I'm going to actually click on the path with my direct select. I'm going to change the um, arc of this path a little bit more here. Let me drag her out here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And again, I'm pointing at this point. I can take my direct select tool and come right down here and aim this. And one nice feature of Illustrator CS5 is the ability to uh, extend the arrow tip. When I click on this, this is the old way Illustrator used to apply the arrow heads. You had to guess. You had to move this back guess, drag it around, so on and so forth. It was kind of a hassle. Now the default is it automatically places the arrow tip at the end of the path. And so now wherever that anchor point is at, I can put the tip of that arrow. So again, we use the um, path tool to draw out a path. Then we use the different arrowheads that we could apply to the beginning and the end. We notice we could scale those. In fact, Maybe I'll click on the path here. I don't even like this circle on the end anymore, so I'm just going to go up here, click on this, drag up to none, and I'm in good shape. So there's just a simple tutorial on going in within CS5 of Illustrator and going in and drawing out a shape, adding arrowheads within the stroke panel now, and then also using the variable width tool to change that stroke width. And I like the shape of this arrow, so I'm going to save it. So by selecting it, I can go into the stroke panel on the bottom where it says Profile. I click on this drop-down uh, menu here, 
and I'll notice in the lower left corner there's a little bitty disk icon so I can click and add this arrow I've built here to my list. Let's just name it Fancy Arrow. And then when I go ahead and draw out a new path, let's say we just draw a plain stroke. And then I can come in here, click on the drop down menu, come through here, find the different ones. Here's my one at the bottom, it's called Fancy Arrow. I click on that, I run the weight up a little bit. So now you can actually see that variable with line has been saved and I can go ahead and add my arrowheads now. And put a tail on that. Very nice. So you go ahead, you can draw out your paths, go into the stroke panel, add your different arrowheads and also go over to the variable width tool in Illustrator CS5 and change that width of that path and you can make some very very attractive arrows.